Today, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to recreate an ad you might like while scrolling through Facebook. And then I'm gonna show you how to find a social media manager that'll take your ads out onto the web that'll bring customers to your online business. And we're gonna use the graphics creator by Laughing Bird Software to get it done. So today I was browsing through Facebook like I do every day and like you probably do every day. <laughs> and I came across this ad, this Facebook ad, and I thought, I wonder if the graphics creator could create that. It's very easy. It's got a smiling face, caught my attention. It's got a nice quote here. And I thought, what a great idea for an ad. So today we're gonna create this ad and then I'm gonna show you how to hire a social media manager to help get the ad around the interwebs so that you can make a little money. I think we need the people pack and maybe the ad creator. I don't know. So to get the people pack, if you don't have it, come over to our website, hop into the store and browse the template sets. And somewhere on page two, you're gonna find the people pack. You can install that. And when you install it, it's super easy. You just double click on the installer and install the software. And then when you load the graphics creator, you'll come up here and you will find the people templates all ready for you and waiting for you to modify them. Okay, so for this ad, uh, she's a smiling person, caught my attention. I like the quote. I like the way that this quote thing is here. That's neat. And then they had a call to action, get started for $1. And then their little logo here. So cool. So we're gonna find a smiley, happy person. So we're gonna scroll through the templates. Okay, this one's cool. I'm gonna click on it. She's pretty happy and she's very excited that she saved money. <laughs> so let's bring the ad up real quick. Here's the ad. I'm gonna lay the ad on the side here and I'm gonna bring the window just lightly over here like this so we can see everything. So I wanna copy this ad. Okay, so she's happy. Let's make her a little bit bigger here. Now an ad size, uh, this is a square, uh, square ad. So we can do a square ad, but I think we're gonna hire a social media manager to manage our Facebook ads. So to make a Facebook ad, we're gonna choose the Format Canvas button here, click it, and we're gonna set the width to uh, 1260 by 720. That seems to be a, a, a good Facebook size. Okay, and the canvas will shrink to it. We're gonna remove this background here. Let's bring her here, let's bring all the text up. Okay, great. Now we're gonna create this text here. So I guess we don't really need this big green font or the .NET. We do want some text here, so I'm gonna double click it and I'm gonna start typing. Okay, the text is completely messed up, but no worries because we can just click on the text, come over here to text format, and we're going to set the space and set the line space. Cool, and we're gonna left justify it because I see this is left justified, so bam, there we go. And of course, we're going to shrink the text so it fits everything. Okay, now, this says Hero subscription. I honestly don't know what Hero FM is. <laughs> I just saw the ad. So let's do um, star, star, star subscription because, you know, whatever your business is. Now, this seems to be a little bit too fat for the ad here. So I'm gonna come over here to text format and I'm gonna just pick a, a font that's on my computer. Okay, that seems to be okay, and this is kind of messing me up, so let's just call it graphics. Oops. A graphics subscription, and now I can kind of manipulate it a little bit, and back to text format. Okay, now let's quickly create our background, so we're gonna come up here, I mean our, our back square here. We're gonna quickly come up here to the edit menu, and we're gonna choose a new rectangle and we're gonna send it to the back. Cool, and I think the subscription is way too far over. It's making the box too long, so I'm gonna hit return and kind of do that a little bit. Okay, and now we're gonna quickly create this quote. So here's an interesting trick you might not know about. I'm gonna come up here to the edit menu again. I'm gonna choose circle, and it creates a circle. And for this ad, I want this quote to be, this is orange because it might uh, fit her hair. Is that maybe why they made it, you know, similar color? So let's pick up the yellow of our model's shirt. So we're gonna come up here to come over here to shape color, and we're gonna use the color picker, and we're gonna make the circle roughly similar to her. Uncheck the color picker, and now I'm gonna use this same text. I'm going to duplicate it, bring it down here a little bit, double click, 
and I'm going to make my own quote marks. And I'll bring it up here. I'll make it as big as I can. Now, these quote marks aren't as cool as these, so this time I'm gonna come over here to the text format, and I'm gonna pick a Google font. Now watch this. So I'm gonna uh, select Preview Google Fonts and click it. And now I'm gonna come up here to the categories and uncheck everything except for display, which is big, cartoony, cool kind of uh, fonts. And now if I click on um, any text in one of these boxes, okay, I'm gonna click on it, and I could literally double click on the text here and type in, type in whatever I wanted. Okay, and it'll show you what the font looks like. So that's kind of cool. And you can make it big. But for our, um, our ad, I simply want quote marks. So is that what I want? No. So I'm gonna go back to browse fonts, but watch this. Now, all the fonts now have changed to quote marks. Now I can easily scroll through to see um, some really cool quotes. Here, there you go, Passion One, that's a good one. So I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna pick a Google font this time. And instead of scrolling down this list, I'm gonna type in, start typing in Passion. Well, oh, there it is, Passion One. And when I click this, this should be the right kind of quotes. Bam, there we go, cool. Now her quotes are facing to the right and mine are facing to the left. So you wanna change them? Take this little drag handle thing and change it. There we go. Now we're gonna have to bring these boxes and the text down so that the quote doesn't overlap them. And I do like that her text is black. It's a lot easier to see. So we're simply gonna come over here to text color, use the eyedropper and we'll pick up some of her hair color. There we go, now it's starting to shape up. Okay, great. Now we need to add this get started for $1. So let's just bring this up just a little bit higher so we can make another box down here. So all I'm, all I'm gonna do is click on this square, come up here and I'm gonna duplicate this. And it's the same width. So now I'm gonna bring it down here a little bit. Now this says get started for $1, cool. Now that is a pretty nice looking ad. Now if we wanted to do something really cool in the background, um, we could do something like come up here to photos and videos and we can uh, type in something like um, tropical. And let's see what kind of images we got. There we go. Now she saved so much money she went on a tropical vacation. <laughs> okay, here's another trick too. Let's close this and let's fade the background. It might be too much. So we're gonna click on the background and click on image format. Let's fade the background a little bit. So it's not so so strong maybe for the ad. I think this will work nicely for our Facebook page. Now, depending on your service, you might wanna change the people out. Just get creative. It's, it's really fun just to sit here and, and just keep creating. And now I have four ads that I could give to our new social media manager that we're about to hire. And he or she can go to town and spread these all over the web and have other people come back to us and we'll be able to make some money. Okay, I've gone through and I've downloaded all of these into a folder on my desktop. So my my ads are here. Cool, and they're the they're a good size. Okay, they'll fit Facebook nicely. Okay, now we're gonna come to a website that you've probably heard of called Fiverr. Now, Fiverr, you can hire people to do things for fairly cheap, but I'm not gonna lie to you, this this creating an ad uh, campaign and hiring a social media manager is not super cheap. It's not like you can get anything for $5. But when you type in something like social media manager, you're gonna get a lot of variation in price. I've used Fiverr for a whole bunch of things like I did my, uh, my the logo animation that you saw at the beginning of this video. I hired and it cost me about 60 bucks. So it's not $5, but <laughs> it's totally worth it though. So what you wanna do when you're looking for a social media ad manager you wanna find um, those that have a high rating, 4.9, 5.0 is the highest, but also you wanna find a lot of people, 205 users have used this guy. So this guy has a 5.0, but only 30 users, not bad. He's 20 bucks, maybe they're starting out. Um, but this is a reasonable price. Okay, you also wanna look for maybe, um, you can check uh, Pro Verified. So when they're Pro Verified, that means Fiverr has, has certified them Pro and they're not, you know, scam artists or, or anything like that. So what I like about the idea of going to Fiverr is 
Um, Facebook ad marketing is super complex. It's way above my my head. I, I don't understand it. It's too much. But if you look around Fiverr and you find um, Pro Verified that have a lot of users and a high rating, um, probably it's going to be a good bet and they're going to do a good job for you. Now, if you provide them the ads, then all they have to do is create the uh, the campaigns for you. If you're willing to pay, you know, uh, some money for a professional, a real professional, then, you know, you look for a five-star rating with 560, you know, top raters. They start at $275. That's that's not that's not cheap, but, you know, maybe that $275, if your customers are coming back, you know, thousands of customers are coming back, maybe even with three or four sales a week, that'll that'll pay for itself easily. So I hope this helps and gave you, gave you some ideas on creating your own ads and hiring somebody from Fiverr that will help you bring traffic back to your site. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more Tutorial Tuesday videos. Uh, thanks a ton for watching and I'll see you next week. Oh, oh, oh.